Hi, I'm Bob. Let's continue to examine the graphs for two continuous variables. Today, we will take a look at the line plots. Line plots are often used to show the trend of a variable over time. The time variable is often placed on the x-axis. If the x variable is not a time variable in natural order, we should have the x variable sorted before we draw the line plots. Let's open the dataset I created from the current population surveys, CPS, for the households in the United States. Let's take a look at the trend of the US household income over the past two decades. Please download the dataset from the link below. The dataset contains the average household income for each year. The income data have been converted to the constant $1999. Let's plot the average household income against the survey year with the line command. The line plots are in the two-way graph family, so we can use the graph two-way command and overlay different plots in one graph. Let's type line income year inside the bracket. We see an increasing trend of household income over time. There are time periods when the real household income decreases. To see it clearly, we add more years labels on the x-axis. The US households experienced some real income jobs in the first decade of the 21st century. Then the household income rose dramatically over the past 10 years until the COVID pandemic outbreak in 2020. Next, let's examine the nine options we can choose. There are many ways to connect the data points. In addition to use a straight line we have already used, we could use the staircase to change the look of the lines. We could try the stair step option or the step stair option. We can modify the pattern of the lines, the color of the lines, and the width of the lines. For example, I choose the thick blue dash lines. If we want to show the scatter plots with the line, we can write the scatter command in another bracket of the graph two way command. We can obtain the same graph using only the scatter command with the connect option. The L option means connecting with lines. To draw multiple line plots, we draw each line command in a bracket. Let's plot the household income for metro areas and non-metro areas. We can also modify the legend to make it clearer. Here we are. The household income in the metro area and the non-metro area follows a similar trend. Finally, let me show you how to draw multiple line plots with two y-axis. Suppose we have another variable, difference. It is the difference in household income between the metro area and the non-metro area. Without using two y-axis, the lines become much flatter because the scaling on y-axis is very different. Let's use two y-axis. To do that, we assign each line plot a y-axis. The line plots for the metro and non-metro areas use the first y-axis. 
the difference in household incomes uses the second y-axis. We could also use some options for the lies we just learned. Now, the graph looks better. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time.